This Chemix School tutorial is about how to alter properties such as size, color, angle, and shape of symbols and text using available ternary data entry command options. As shown here, the data entry text field is located inside the red framed rectangle. In this example, we will insert a point in the ternary diagram at 20% A, and 10% B. We know that the sum of ABC must sum to 100% total, and by that, that C must be 70%. In Chemix school we only need to insert two of the, the three components, namely A and B. A and B and the following text must be separated by at least one space, as illustrated by the green color. The plot points of the first data set consist of symbols looking like black filled circles. Insert the coordinate values for A and B, and also insert a symbol text, for example, P1, separated by spaces. Press the calculate button to view the plot inside the triangular frame. The default size of all the symbols can be changed using the radio buttons located above the upper right side of the data entry text field. A new data set consisting of different symbols can be started by selecting a different radio button in which is located below the lower right side of the data entry text field. To change the size of a symbol, enter a two-letter symbol size command, enclosed in square brackets. The options are, a small symbol, a medium symbol, and a big symbol. It should be noted that all commands always must be located on the right side. To change the color of a symbol, enter a two-letter color command enclosed in square brackets. The color options for symbols are the following, black, red, green, blue, white, yellow, cyan, and fuchsia. The way to change the symbol type is to enter a symbol command. There are a total of six different symbols to choose from. It is possible to hide a symbol by using the minus symbol command. Using this command will only hide the symbol, not the symbol text. To change the font size of the symbol text, enter a two letter font size command enclosed in square brackets. The options are the following, a small font, a big font, a huge font, and a gigantic font. If no text size commands are present the text will be sized as a default medium size font. To change the font color, enter a font color command enclosed in square brackets. The color options for fonts are the following, black, red, green, blue, white, yellow, cyan, and fuchsia. Three font style commands are available, namely, thick front, italic font, and underlined font. To display a numeric value as text, the value has to be enclosed in square brackets. This is for avoiding that the software misinterprets this value as a coordinate value. By using a text angle command, it is possible to change the text angle from 0 to 360 degrees. In this example the text was angled in 45 degrees. When the symbol text checkbox is unchecked, it means that all the symbol text is to be hidden. It is possible to override this global event by inserting a ignore hide command after the text. To display symbols and text outside the triangular frame, requires a command that tells the software to display the result, even when inserted coordinates exceed the limits of the triangular frame. This command is the ignore limits command. The example displayed in the upper red framed box demonstrates that it is fully possible to use more than one command at once. Thank you for watching this Chemix School tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.